doesn't ever snow here and that's really sad but it does feel cold enough to snow so fingers crossed all right let's go ahead and get started today we are doing chapter seven lessons one and two classifying angles and complementary and supplementary angles our learning goal is that students will be able to classify angles as obtuse acute or right complementary and supplementary okay so vocabulary is key on this so be sure to write down absolutely everything that is typed or written in this video and pause this video at any time that you need to slow things down or write things down remember vocabulary is everything for this lesson I'm repeating it again because vocabulary is everything once you get the vocabulary down this lesson should become pretty easy so vertical angles Okay, I'm showing you that these are vertical angles, the two that are highlighted, they are directly across from each other and they are equal. So vertical angles directly across from each other and they are equal. So one and three are also vertical angles. I just wanted to show you one example. I felt like if I did two different colors, it would be a little confusing. But two and four are vertical angles. One and three are vertical angles and they are equal to each other. So one and three are equal, two and four are equal. Vertical angles across and equal. Good? Vertical angles, don't forget. Okay, next are adjacent angles. Adjacent means it's right next to each other. Okay, if somebody is adjacent to you, they are right next to you. Okay, so they make a straight line. Adjacent angles make a straight line and together they equal 180 degrees. A straight line is 180 degrees. So if the two angles are next to each other, they are adjacent because they are next to each other and they equal 180 degrees. They form a straight line. Okay? Adjacent angles, very important. Remember those vocabulary. Okay? And it may be a good idea for you to highlight um, the numbers, kind of like I did here, to help you understand the vocabulary a little more and for you to know which numbers we're talking about. All right, so it says here, name two vertical angles. Okay, so my two vertical angles, we can pick four and two. So angle four and angle two. Those are two vertical angles. They're directly across from each other and they are equal to each other. Name two adjacent angles. Adjacent angles, let me try a highlighter this time. Adjacent angles are right next to each other. So the four and the three are right next to each other and they form a straight line. Even though my line was not straight, sorry. All right, so angle four and angle three are adjacent. And this is a way to simplify writing. You don't have to write angle out every time. So to save ourselves from having to tire our hand out and write angles every single time, we're just going to draw a little mini angle, and that's going to tell us that that is angle 4 and angle 3. Okay? All right, so remember, okay, complementary angles equal, one, equal 90 degrees, and supplementary angles equal 180 degrees. Supplementary, straight line, complementary, right angle. So here's how you can remember. Complementary, I'm going to draw the line straight down from the C. And you see how that kind of looks like a 9 and a 0? So complementary is 90 degrees, our 9 and our 0. Complementary, 90 degrees. And supplementary is 180. This one's a little more abstract, but the S can turn into an 8, you can put a 1 in front, and the U can turn into a 0-ish, okay? So complementary, 90 degrees, supplementary, 180 degrees. So the two angles that equal, that are complementary, equal 90 degrees together, and the two angles that are adjacent, right next to each other, and equal 180 degrees, those are supplementary angles, okay? All right, oops, sorry. 
Okay, so are these complementary or supplementary angles? Okay, so these two angles form a straight line. And remember, a straight line is 180 degrees, so we need to think about which one forms 180 degrees, and that is supplementary angles. That makes our 8, that makes our 0, and that makes a 1. So, 180 degrees, these are supplementary angles. All right. Also, one thing I have not talked about, you guys have had this back in elementary school and in sixth grade as well, but um, I will review, okay? Obtuse angles are greater than 90, greater than 90 degrees. Right angles are 90 degrees, they're always right. Okay, and then acute angles, they're all cute, they're so little, they're so acute. Acute angles are less than, nope, look at me, I'm not doing this right. How about less than 90 degrees, okay? So acute, little itty bitty angles, they're less than 90. Right angles are 90 degrees, and obtuse angles, obtuse, are bigger than 90 degrees. Okay, so when we are trying to solve for a variable here, we know that these two angles equal 90 degrees because we have this little right angle here that tells us that this is a 90 degree angle. So we know that these two angles equal 90 degrees. So 2x plus 28 equals 90 degrees. And now because you guys have done two-step equations, you know how to solve for x. So I'm going to draw my line straight down from the equal sign. I'm going to start on the side with the variable, but I'm going to start with the number without the variable. Oh, what am I talking about? Without the variable, okay? So this says plus 28, so we want to do the opposite and subtract 28 from both sides. And here's where you get to use a calculator. See? Way better than sixth grade, y'all get to use calculators. All right, so 90 minus 28, that gives us 62. So we've got 62 over here. Bring down your equal sign. Positive 28 minus 28 cancels, and we are left with 2x on the left. To solve, you need to do the opposite of what's happening to the variable. Right now, the variable is being multiplied by 2, so we want to do the opposite and divide both sides by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 1 times x is x. And 62 divided by 2 gives us 31. So our answer is 31. It would be degrees. I don't know why I put that. <laughs> 31. you got to be careful because sometimes it's going to be asking for degrees and sometimes it's not. This x is not going to be the degrees because 2 times 31 would give us our degrees, which is 62. So 62 degrees for this angle, and our x is equal to 31. Okay, and this one, these form a straight line. Okay, so if we put this line right up next to this line, it would match up, right? So 3x plus 123 equals 180 because the straight line is 180. So 3x plus 123. So I'm going to draw my line straight down from my equal sign. I'm going to start on my side with my variable, but I'm going to start with the number without the variable. So I'm going to subtract 123 from both sides. This cancels, and I'm left with 3x is equal to 180 minus 123. Get out your calculators. You can use it on this. Okay, so 180 minus 123 gives us 57. And then we divide both sides by 3. This cancels, and we are left with x is equal to 57 divided by 3, which is 19. So 3 times x gives us 57. So this angle is 57 degrees, and x is equal to 19. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you tomorrow.